Hey, good morning, and my name is Stephen. Just in case you haven't been here before, I like to share my hobbies with you, and that includes mudlarking in my local river and sometimes in the dirty, smelly old Thames in London, but also metal detecting, where I love to try and find things to upcycle and turn into something else, my favorite being silver coins into coin rings. More about that later, but this morning, I had a wonderful message. It came in overnight and it was there this morning from somebody called Andrew. I'm not going to tell you any more details about this because he asked me to ID a couple of Roman coins for him, which I did using my chart here, which you can find on the map with the hat, the man with the hat, <laughs> even .co.uk. And I'm going to tell you exactly what happened after that. Yes, the news this morning was absolutely amazing. Andrew sent me two pictures. Now, these are the pictures. Um, after managing to identify the two Roman emperors for him and telling him how, where, why and everything else about the emperor and showing him how he can get that for the future, he's going to need it, I tell you. I told him, I said, do you actually know what you found? Now, let me ask you, just by looking at those two pictures, what do you notice and what does it mean? Well, the first thing you'll notice is there is some green stuff, corrosion all over the silver coins. What does it mean? Well, it means, of course, that particular green corrosion, sometimes it's got a bluish tinge to it as well. It means that something else, while well, it's been in the ground, has been touching it and caused that problem. Now, you would probably think that it's something like brass or copper, because copper goes green in the ground, doesn't it? You know, look at the patina on pennies we dig up, and they might only be less than, I don't know, 50 years old, and they've gone lovely verdigris green on the coin. No, this is not a verdigris. This is a corrosion. So what would cause that? if it's not a copper, something else. What would cause it is another silver coin pressing against it in close proximity. And this only really happens if you get silver Roman coins touching silver Roman coins in a damp condition, i.e. buried. So he didn't realize, this is it, by the way, this is his first Roman coin. And then a foot away, from his first Roman coin came the second one. Now, he tells me he had to pack up and go home to go to work, but he's gonna go back this weekend because he's incredibly excited and so he should be. What he's got is a hoard. Now, I have no idea how big the hoard was gonna be. Mine was 110 silver Roman coins, but you can tell a great deal from the two coins he has found and that green erosion on both of them. Now, you can tell because one of the coins has got green erosion on both sides of the coin, that there was at least three coins in the hoard, because there was one touch on this side, there was one touch on that side, causing the green on both sides of that coin. So it's at least three, and he's found two. Now, the other coin you can see has got the green corrosion on one side, so that may have been one of the three coins because there was nothing touching this side. But even then, it doesn't mean because they're touching that they are going to have the corrosion. It's just a sign of coins touching coins. It doesn't mean that they are going to corrode if they are touching and they're in a damp environment like being buried. So when he told me that they're only a foot apart rather than actually together, stuck together and he pulled them apart, leaving the green corrosion on each, I instantly knew that he has got probably a scattered hoard. But again, at this particular time, we just don't know the size of the hoard. Now, when I found my first ever a hoard, I had a similar experience, except my first coin wasn't one. It was two stuck together. They were literally stuck together. You could have put your fingernails between and forced them apart, damaging the coins. But I left them like that. And they're actually in the museum now with the hoard still stuck together. They left it like that. 
and my hoard I mean I'll just see if I can find a picture of just a handful of mine and you'll see the similarity of the green corrosion on the silver Romans and some of my Romans were debased silver and some of them are really good purity silver so he is now incredibly excited as I am for him uh, this is this he said this is his first ever Roman and to find two in very close proximity a foot apart indicates to me that it was either in um, a vessel which was broken by a plow and maybe scattered and if he can do some research on lidar he might be able to determine which way the plowing was or ask the landowner you know if he's been there long enough um because i don't know the land whether it's pasture or whether it's um, i'll have to find out actually thinking about this whether it's pasture or whether it's um, arable which way the land was plowed because that's the way that the coins will be scattered so he can save time by searching wide and just go in the direction of the plow uh, it's either that a small vessel that was damaged by a plow or it was a purse that rotted so there might even be a purse bar there but it's unlikely but possible but the purse with a leather purse would have rotted away but they also had metal purses as well and they carried them on their shoulders here the romans so it might have been a buried metal purse it may have been a leather purse which rotted away or it might have been a small vessel this is going to be an interesting story to follow um andrew i'm just reading his messages off camera here because he's still typing to me um this is going to be an interesting story to follow because as i said not only is it his first ever silver roman but now he's learned about the green the corrosion how to tell um what caused it and why the other one hasn't got any corrosion the distance between them um would probably mean that they are scattered but they are still close enough to be in one location together i mean one of the biggest hordes i ever witnessed was with the southern searchers a couple of years ago right down south in the uk and um, a few coins were found by one guy then they cordoned it off and after two days of making a live video in fact i'll put that link because these were unique um denarius they were serato the ones with the serrated edge the denarius with the serrated edge i've never found one that's one of the things on my on my wish list i really really want to find a serato denarius um 603 came out over a period of a couple of days they even camped on the site during that one night while the excavation was going over and the flows came in to help so yeah i'll put a link to that video so you can actually watch my live broadcast at the time straight to youtube as it was happening it's poor quality because the signal was terrible out in the middle of that field but it's exciting to watch but not as exciting as the potential of andrew his first ever hoard technically he's already got a hoard because he's got two coins and the hoard uh, sorry the flow should already possibly be involved in this well uh, i would say not involved but notified i do think from experience that a flow would probably make a note of it and the location and um, ask them just to keep looking and to keep account and to take um readings geo reasons readings so that's latitude longitude for records so this story is obviously going to be continued and i am for one looking forward to following this through and hope that he sends me even more pictures of things to come so i can show you isn't that really good news if you've got any news like that coming up at the moment and you want to share it with me to share it to somebody else whilst obviously main, maintaining the discretion and the secrecy please do i would love to share it with you and to share it to the world too so thank you for being with me and if you do want any of these posters which are selling like hotcakes at the moment because it's nearly christmas they are on my store with other things i made as well so look it up the man with the hat uk. thank god i got it right that time <laughs>
Looking for anything at all New videos every week so please subscribe Please subscribe So we're just going to go through the formal check-in procedure or we're just getting guidance as to where to go and park or things like that. Right, I've just gone through the security and check-in and I've arrived on the field. This is the camping field where most of them are spending the nights here. This is Alex. So you've met Alex before, he's been digging with me on previous videos where he's found hammers and and bits and pieces and matrix seals and things on on my permissions and then I've come away empty handed. He always does it to me, even on digs like this. I guarantee you this weekend he'll find stuff and I'll find nothing. Because you're too busy filming, you're not digging. Well that could be the truth, yeah. If think if there was forty nine hammers on here with fifty people, guess who'd be the one that didn't get one? Me. <laughs> Mind you, you do walk quick. I do no I don't anymore. Don't you? Because no. I, I really, really am slow. Because I've Compared noticed to what I used to be. slower walk, more gold to find. Oh, come on, he's rubbing that one I in, didn't, isn't he? I didn't tell you that I found a gold state this year, full gold state. A full gold state, yeah? Yeah. And a couple of weeks ago I found a full sovereign as well. Victorian sovereign. So. Oh, my God. So I'm going slower. Plus I'm getting older. You know? <laughs> right, I think they're about to call the meeting together for uh, showing us where to go and all the rules and things, so... I need to get ready to go live streaming, so I'll catch you later. Adios. Hi guys, we're live from the Southern Detectorists Weekend Dig down here in Bridport in Dorset. What a great area this is for history. And um, there are some people I've been speaking to this morning who, when they see that the Southern Detectorists are going to be coming uh, to the Bridport area, they never ever miss a dig because the history here is just amazing and some fantabulous finds always had come up. Yes, fantabulous, I did say that. Anyway, behind me, they're about to have the meeting, I believe, so let's just go and have a look. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Good luck, Alex. Good luck. Well, I just want you to witness now what an organized weekend rally is like, and the Southern Detectorists is one of the best, in my humble opinion. And... Uh, I'm quite sure some people don't care about my opinion anyway, but there you go. All ages, all abilities, loads of ladies, which is really good to see. Sometimes there's children as well. I mean, there's one just in the middle there. So, walk into the fields. I'm tempted to follow Alex over there because he always gets a signal fairly early on. Doesn't usually mean it's a good one. Twenty-three people, three people watching live. Sixteen thumbs up. Thank you, guys. If you appreciate this sort of live stream video, which I can't do very often, of course, then please do leave a thumbs up. If you're watching now, that'll just let me know how many people want to see more of it, and I'll definitely try and do more if it's at all possible. I just need to know if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. I'm approaching you with a live camera onto YouTube. Is that okay? Yep, okay. You're live on YouTube. So please be careful with your language. What was the... Oh, you're on a dais, that's good. And uh, what was the target? A rusty nail. <laughs> well, at least you'll save somebody else from digging that up. <laughs> good luck on the day. I'm approaching you with a camera live streaming on YouTube. Is that okay? Okay. What did you find on your first signal? Was it your first one? Yes, just a uh, brass um, sort of a plate. Okay. You know, like, um, you know, that somebody's name would have been engraved. On. Right, okay. Yeah, so. Good. Well, that's your first find. That's out of the way now. Exactly. The gold waiting for you. If you see me with the camera on and you want to share anything, just let me know. All right, then. Thank you. Right, there's 127 people here. There's some gone down to the fields right over there. Some, sorry, we're right into the sun at the moment, but... Um, Right over there are some fields, right over there there's some fields. Today's fields are quite a few hundred acres. And this is the Southern Detectorists Facebook group. Some people are already sharing this live stream to other Facebook groups. Thank you very much for doing that, really appreciate it. That just shows me that 
um, these type of videos are welcomed. You don't see them very often. Now, you are live on YouTube. Do you have a problem with that? Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine with that. Lovely job. Have you had anything at all yet? Or is that uh, your... It's the very first thing. Is it, right? Feature button. Is that a button? Ah, uh, yeah. Just a button. What do you want? Is it's got a scar on the back? It hasn't got... Um... Oh, yeah, it has, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, good luck for the day. Thank you very much. It's really nice to have a share with everybody else. You know, what a live group dig is like. It's such a unique event to see something going on as it happens. So, uh, Libby now is on this uh, stubble field. She's now walking in front of Steve, her father, looking for stuff by eye. I tell you what, it won't take her long. If it's there, she'll find it. 127 people marched off with the coils in the air, eager to find their first signal. There's loads and loads of land. There's that one over there. There's that big one over there. I'm sorry we're facing the sun right now, so it's not brilliant. And there's a field there as well. But not only that, I mean, it's a quarter of a mile walk. Actually, more than that, it's half a mile walk from here to those trees over there. And there's some people over there already. But there's loads of fields at the top there as well. So several hundred acres to go out today. You wouldn't believe there's 127 people because they've all just gone all over the place and now you're just left with a handful. Well, first three things. There's three things? Yeah, I had Roman in the first field, Roman grot. That's hardly a grot. Well, it's not bad. No, that's but beautiful. I've just dug in the gate, superb neat ropes, absolutely lovely decorated thing. Now that is nice. It is, and I've just led off the surface of the tent. Wow. Literally just here. I don't, I don't normally, but I thought I've got something to show and you need that on the video. So Absolutely, and thank you for doing that. I'm going to find some more now, Stephen. Lovely job, thank you. See you later. Yep, see you. Have a good day. I'm going to thank you all very much indeed for joining me for my first ever live group dig. Woohoo, it's hammy time. Big smiles. Oh, oh that is a big one. Is that a grope? Yeah. Um, yeah. Your mate thinks it's Eddie. Looks like an Eddie. Can you just have a have a yeah, look? Sure. Definitely an Edward. I just can't I'm not very good at IDing which monarch. It's first, second or third or not, I don't know. But it's nice coin. Been clipped a little bit, hasn't it? But yeah. that's a beaut, that's it's a big not, one. It's not very worn, is it? No, that's a big one. Well done on that. Happy days. Yeah, fantastic. You can go on now. Now guys. Just want to share this information with you i didn't expect to go live twice in one day but we've got a massive commotion here there's been a, a huge i no. mean a huge horde of silver roman denarius we believe still in the vessel so we're closing down the site and we're securing it especially overnight but we are miles from anywhere so nobody's going to find out where we are and we've got to get these professionally excavated so I'd love to be able to show you more about what's going on, but I've been asked not to, just to announce to you that I am recording it. I'm recording it, I'm going to show you on a video what's happening here, but I can't show you live. I wish I could, I really do. Loads of um, Republican, Mark Antony, Augustus, pre-Augustus, silver Roman denarii, hundreds, possibly even thousands of them have been found by one person, and now we're just shutting down the field. And we're going to dig them up. I'm going to record this live. I'm going to get the drone up as well to record the footage. Sorry I can't show you it in person, but I'm going to bring it to you on a video that I'm filming now. So thanks a lot, and I'll catch you later. Sorry that I can't show you live. Catch you later. Right, it's my great pleasure to bring you some news. And the dig I streamed on live this morning, it's been a really great occasion here today and being witness and given permission to do this live i'm not even sure if it's been done live on youtube before but live is our silver roman denarii horde please tell everyone to check in i'll keep this video going as long as i can and i just want to show you what's going on at the moment kirsty in the yellow jacket has uh, recently arrived she's the local finds liaison officer and she's just coming to oversee what's going on and to give us some guidance. So far we've uh, got all that soil out, that's probably about a cubic square meter of soil there, or a bit less. Check the stuff out. 
I'll try and show you some coins at the moment, um, but which we've found. And they go back to 80 BC to about 40 or 60 AD. I will bring you some coins to look at in just a moment. Oh, here we go. He's back again. Look at that. 50 <laughs> coins in there so far. Give or take. Give or take. Yeah, you're just chucking them in all the time, aren't you? But there we go. Some beautiful silver Roman denarius. Now, those who remember the coins I found in a hoard, these are in excellent, excellent condition. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ben. Hundreds of them. Come on, you've got to be honest. Early, what, least, what century are they? First century, most of them. And they go back to 80 BC. It's about 80 BC. Yeah. Around 60 AD. Okay, we are live on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Everybody knows Gary Smith. He's usually very, very camera shy. He seems to have given in today. <laughs> yeah. So this is a live excavation of the Denarius Horde, and uh, say so there's no such thing as a Denarius Horde, it's a Denarii Horde. It's still amazing, even now. Even the coins are coming out of the side walls, there's been some probes searching for the coins in the side walls. So uh, we may have to open this trench a little bit bigger than it actually is. But in the moment we're just uh, tidying it up, taking the loose soil off the top. Yeah. There seems to be three big pockets of coins, really, where the probe is now. And they're all over the place. So that's been worth a six hour trip to come down and witness that. I mean, to witness that live happening in a field as it happens is absolutely brilliant. Needless to say, I haven't got much digging in myself today because I've been flying the drone. Uh, I've, I've been here really since the first ones were found and we couldn't go live and reveal and tell you anything at all. But I've now got the go ahead. So if you're just tuning in now, I can confirm this is a live reveal of a Denari horde. And um, we've, amazingly, we've only got nine watches and one thumbs up. I can't believe that. I don't think this has ever happened before live on YouTube. So if you uh, get the opportunity, by all means, please share this live stream now in other groups for people who have never ever seen this happen before. This is a unique opportunity to witness a live horde of silver Romans coming up. I know I'm excited and I'm standing here. So let me just switch the camera around again. There's a lot of activity here at the moment and the flows are here. There's Kirsty over there who's a fine liaison officer. But after this morning's video showing you the protocol and how a weekend dig is organized and 127 detectorists walking into the field with their coils head high ready to go, who knew that this was going to be happening live, and I repeat this, live on YouTube. Totally and utterly gobsmacked and it's such a pleasure to be here. This gentleman with the blue and white hat with the sunglasses, he's one of the finders. I believe there are three joint finders. Um, now, the rumours are that there is a pot there, which has been hit by a plough or something. Um, the flows are going by the colour of the soil as it changes colour. There's orange um, in one part and it's um, black in another part, but they're still really yet haven't reached the subsoil. So... I have no idea how deep that's going to be <laughs> or if there is a pot there at all. But if there is a pot, I want to bring it out live. I'm going to sacrifice my six hours drive down here to hopefully detect and find something myself to bring you this because this is just absolutely incredible to watch. For those just joining, and there are a few more of you now joining, I have to just reiterate there's been 50 silver Roman coins so far, but we know there are um, four or more big areas pockets of coins underneath that soil the hole at the moment it's about nine inches deep and they're just making an announcement over here which i want to get they're not going to be able to hear you sure. <laughs> 
while they're calling the people over i'll just let you know this morning as well i managed to get the drone in the air and record what was going on hovering over the hole looking in the hole but this is probably to the best of my knowledge anyway the first live reveal of a silver roman hoard of coins significant number of coins we don't know how many yet but i'm going to try and stay with you as long as i possibly can until we know a lot more it's only caught to one in the afternoon i think the first few coins were found about a couple of hours ago and uh, i'm just very surprised that we're live again that alex my mate here didn't find anything <laughs> as he usually does we know that i don't but it's just nice to be here to record it let alone find anything and be part of it <laughs> So, if you're watching this now, by all means, please share this moment on other Facebook groups so they can also see what happens when a live horde comes up. Come on! Being the boss to me, I'll always be the boss of you, mate. We're going to get a discount for lost picking time. <laughs> <laughs> not quite sure what sean is going to announce but something that's probably been told him by one of the flows we're live on youtube okay listen up everybody anyone who found a roman denarii silver roman denarii which is which is associated with that horn okay here's the part of the horn okay now you can still use Okay, and then what um, Kirsty will do, she will take your name, your address, and the denarii, and then it's got to go through the process. Okay, so anyone who owns, uh, anyone who's got any of these spots where we've marked, if they could go to Kirsty individually and give the denarii or denarii's and your name. Okay. Thanks, guys. And this field is going to be closed at four o'clock. All the others are open, but this field will be shut at four o'clock. If any more is found, please do the same process. Thank you. Thank you. Anything now found in this field is now going to be as part of the hoard. Right, the excitement continues. Everybody's trying to find more silvers. So far, just to bring uh, you all up to date, if you've checked in recently, there's been a horde of silver Roman denarius found and they're still trying to excavate them. The finds liaison officer and her husband, who's an architect, uh, architect, <laughs> an archeologist, are here now just preparing the soil ready for a proper excavation we can tell we're not really yet past the um the soil level not into subsoil so we're just preparing it for a final search <laughs> How long can you stay live for, Steve? Um, <laughs> well, I'm plugged in at the moment to a power pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This could be a few hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, light, you need a short, uh, Yeah, a I may have to come back for part two. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the opinion of, of them about what lies beneath? It's very early to tell yet, mate. It's, um, there is a bit of darker, darker soil. Could be right okay but we think there's uh, enough there to warrant uh, a proper excavation because evidence shows there are a lot more there still yeah definitely i mean they we dug down 
And then once we start getting a bit more of a congreg congregation, the coins sticking out, with, you can probably can't really see them in here. There's probably about eight or ten sticking out on their sides. Yeah. Of course, they're the, the closest ones to go we've had so far. Yeah. Of course, we stopped just in case it is a pot or something's been smashed or there's a little bit of a pit. And then we'll go around it and see if we see what it is. Great. Thank you, Gary. That's Gary, one who's usually very camera shy, very vocal today. <laughs> <laughs> What a fantastic experience to be able to witness live an, an event like this. It really is superb. Live on YouTube. If nobody is uh, watching, that's their tough luck. There could be lots of people who will want to see this. If you know anybody, just tag them. Just let them know what's going on or share this into other groups. I'm going to keep going live as long as I can, even if there's nothing really to show you because all of a sudden something will happen. I just hope my battery doesn't run out at that particular point. But it's exciting. The pot was sunk and the were put in in situ, so it's not like coming back for the so it's going to stay Whereas this, we don't really understand what the process of holding is about, but there is now a point they're often like this in that they're, you know, there's not necessarily any building associated it could be just in our submission in the, the Shapwick Hall was the exception in Somerset that was in the corner of the room but that's the only one I've seen like that. <laughs> so that, that's this is it would be more usual for it to not have any building or building associated with it but well, it looks like we're now undergoing the first process, so there's not a great deal to show you. That's what happens now. There's a lot of excitement when the hoard is first revealed, and um, they're just gently digging around to see just how big the area is they need to cover to find any coins. That happened over a two hour period. We then decided we would stop the digging and um, call out the fines liaison officer. So she's come along, Kirsty, who you've just seen on video, brought her husband, who's in the hole at the moment, who's an archeologist. And we're now really just waiting to see what happens next. And it's not part of the board. Yes. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Well, they get to keep it. Is that one Yeah. Well, they get to keep it as well. I can't even yeah. see it. Yeah. Half in it. Half yeah. of the farm, of course. Isn't that? Hell of a grunty. Who, who, said, who said Saxon anyway? I did. You did. Not well, me. I didn't say no, it. No, I you, did. Am I right? You did. Is it? Yeah, <sighs> right. It's a short plus penny. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good. It dates 1180, 1247. Well, it's not normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's either Henry, Henry II or Richard I. It's cut off okay. penny. You know who's it's still nice, though. It seems insignificant now, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Here's Steve. Yeah. He's still alive. Yeah, still live. Yeah, it's still live. Little find in the field. John yeah. here. Here we are. Got a stator. Right, right. Bit chip, bit broken. Bronze. A bronze stator. Iron Age. Oh, well, there you go. You guys who are not in the UK or Europe who uh, salivate about our history, that's what we're looking for. You've seen some unique history today live on YouTube. <laughs> and tell everybody you saw it on the channel, the man with the hat. <laughs> At Southern Detectorists. At Southern Detectorists. If you want to just, um, are you actually still putting pictures live still on your group yeah there's going to, everything everything about today is going to go up on our group at Southern Detectors it's a fake Facebook group it's an open group uh, if you want to come into the group we put regular digs on all around the south coast um, so yeah if you want to join us go onto Facebook type in Southern Detectorists come and join us it's uh, we have we, we're, we're all over the, the southern regions of England so we'll next very early start but that's that's common immediately post conquest because they were kind of raiding the coppers in Rome and paying yeah. the army with the, that silver. So you get this very warm silver coming back into circulation. So that's that's quite interesting. Well, he's adding any topsoil waste oh, he gets okay. from the, to the same bag. So once oh, yeah, exactly. once he's got once he's got Dan to the bottom of that, so he'll be adding ones to it. 
<laughs> you want as many as you can there, don't you? Do you want that one in the in the box then? So that's the ones that these guys have retrieved from the yeah. upper layer. That's all I'm worried about. So if you, are you are you finding others? Yeah, I got it one was here. a loose one. You just have a quick look at that one before you gotta take a picture of that, yeah? No, I'm uh, live as well. You're live as well, excellent stuff. That's a denarius serratus. So it's got a, a serrated edge. Uh, do you know, I've never found one of them. I've found a horde, but I've never yeah. had one of these. I've had... Mike's found 50. Few. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Denarius. Just saying. <laughs> but Serratus. <laughs> Same one. Right, really? It's got a cow on it, yeah, isn't I it? Whoa. Well, it's a bull. Raging bull. Oh, it's not raging, though, is it? <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you. Okay. Something unique, which needs to be shared with anybody who loves this hobby. Who probably would never have a chance to see this in them, themselves, especially if they're not in the UK and haven't got the history. This is not a rare event, as I've said, but it's very rare. If at all, you'll see it happen live on YouTube. You might find other hold excavations that have been recorded, but not, I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, live as it happens. At the moment, it's not a great deal to look at, except the 50 coins which have already come out which have been taken away by the fines liaison officer for recording and people's names who have found some of the stray ones you can see here from the from the yellow markers this where some stray ones have been found so that's indicative of the fact that the, there probably was a vessel here of some description and uh, the vessel has been hit by a plow at some point and a few of the tons at the top have been scattered and while people are now really searching this is one of the benefits one of the benefits of um, something like this coming up and people now searching the periphery for stray coins, they're searching really, really carefully. They're not hardly walking at all. They're just searching, not swinging, searching. And people are finding other things. Uh, half, uh, cut half hammers come up and a, a beautiful big hammer came up a little while ago around this proximity. And of course, they're not related at all to this particular hoard. Any Roman silvers now which were found on this field are part of the hoard and have to be declared as such. Those on the periphery who are not in the main hole, of course, will have to be decided by the British Museum as to where, whether or not they are significantly related to the main hoard. And if they are, then obviously they've just been separated by the plough and they will be retained as part of the hoard. That's the way the process works. <laughs> That was a good find. I saw you get the signal and I saw you dig it up. <laughs> Live from the field. Many more people are joining us. Thank you very much for doing that. Please share this YouTube video into your Facebook groups, especially overseas for people who never get a chance to witness things like this. Thanks to everybody for joining us on a special live stream video to YouTube from Bridport in Dorset in the UK. Thanks for the thumbs up and the shares to other metal detecting Facebook groups so they can see as well, especially our friends overseas who don't have the history like this. Right guys, it looks like we're the next stage is quite slow, actually revealing the, the significant number of coins which we still know are in the ground under, just under the surface. So what I'm going to do to make sure I don't lose any video at the most critical time, I'm going to leave you now, but come back. I'm going to make sure all my equipment is charged up and come back and continue showing you the excavation of this live. It's only now half past one, I think it's 1.31, so you know this is actually live streamed from the field, and I'm going to come back to you. So, if you make sure you click subscribe, and when I start streaming, it will notify you that I'm streaming. So click subscribe, so you get notified when I come back. I won't promise you I won't be long, I just want to charge up all my equipment, and then come back to you, so we don't miss anything important at the wrong time. Meanwhile, 
and you haven't even swung my coil yet, but it's been worth it. It may have to remain here for quite some time until we can get it all out, but it's apparently a big one. Was that you shouting then? No, I didn't shout. I just don't know. I heard someone shouting. I thought someone was going. I was here. I think we've got at least half a dozen, eight. Mine is just is, is this basically it's the top of this knocked off through through this through basically. Is there yeah, still a vessel in there? Mike, you want a dick? Is there a vessel still in there? So no, we're just uncovering it. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to leave them there. Might gold in it. No, no, you want to do that with wood? Hey, you want to be doing that with wood? So you don't crack the pot. You do. You want to be doing that with wood, not with a metal one. Just come close to the pot. It definitely is. Well, it depends if you can get a fucking yeah, fill with it. It's Monday, apparently. No, no, we'll see. Make sure you get all that, like... Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, putting it all on this sheet. So right, I'm going to watch that. That's, um... Yeah, that's yeah. a fucking... Are these, um... Oh, you fucker. Look, that is, uh... Oh, sorry. That's, um... Mark Anthony, 32 BC. Yeah, it is. Perfect. It should have a legion, legion on there as well. Like, They're perfect. That seems good. You're, you're, you're talking then. You're talking then. There you go. Take a bigger square when you check out Lisa. Dig down in that bed. Put that pot in the fucking level. Look at that. Be careful because there's been loads found here. Yeah, lovely, aren't they? I would detect if I were you. Well done, mate. They've been found within about 50 yards. Carry on. Where's it coming up? Oh, yeah. Wow. They put that go right through to that hole. Oh, my God. Who found it? Mike. <laughs> They're in the belief. Wow. Oh, shit. There's mud in there. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. amazing. Which one's Mike? This one's Mike. Well done. Does that mean I can't yeah. brag about me one binari now? Is that mine? No, that's mine. Ross. Hang on. No, this is where it's starting. Right. <coughs> Someone has nicked me shovel. I think you need to um, go get a <coughs> deeper level. Excuse me. Around. Yeah. Square around it. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anyone got my uh, pin? Is that mine? No, it's mine. That's mine, that one. Is that mine? Uh, I've got Do you want to borrow me? Together, Mike, what was that signal like? Yeah, it was all right, mate. Yeah. Quite high. Many, many words. Rather loud and clear. What's the first time it's mine? Right, so yeah. No. We're well, just there. Well, all the way around there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice I kind of right. want to slow it down a bit. I mean, there's like six people in there. Yeah. I would really prefer it if it was just the finders. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just to, I know, I know, but just you two in it. Yeah, it's not nice having Zach here. Oh, no, it is, but it doesn't need yeah. seven people throwing spades at it. And keep that don't level there. Is. Don't go any lower than that. There's a hoard. Go that right around there. That's right. I'll take the top one out. Fantastic. Let's square. Yeah, let's get a bit of order here, isn't it? Yeah. People are just throwing metal tools at it, and you don't know what's under there. Do you haven't got more pinball? No. It's a carrot, isn't it? Yeah. It's a pot on it. Yeah, yeah, we, we think, think so. Yeah. Exactly. Are you sure that's not wood? No, it's definitely mine, mate. You picked mine up. Ben, have you got yours? No, I've got mine. 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 Yeah, I mean, they, they're well concentrated down here, but, um, but I think if you can take them off in reasonable respects and then... I can't give it a brush, I'll knock them out. You can, <laughs> if you want. Yeah, let's, let's, let's call that a... Call that a move. Uh, let's tag, let's, 
Okay. What's that one? That's bronze, isn't it? No, it's a bit of a stain on it. I never do that. I leave that to Sam. When you send one off in a pot, they start a book on how many there might be in. They start taking bets. Sam always wins. Oh, look. Is this your first picking out all of these? No, no, I've done it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gary from uh, Piddle Trent Hyde last year. We can clean them if you want. They can't, they can't load us on the choice there. <laughs> well, no, they're all clean Charge us for cleaning them. Yeah. <laughs> well, minus the cleaning, you got a tenner. They, they don't clean, they only clean them for valuation purposes anyway. Because yeah. they need, with these ones, particularly there, there could be some rare ones, and so they need to get the identification right. There's another time one. There are some. Just like a really small one, I think. Yeah. Nothing. Because that one of the Talies is a bit on the small side. I wonder if the. the when, when the. Sorry. You know, they are a bit. Side. Shout when you need another one. We want to need another one. Another four. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we know anything about this um, vessel? Is that this, is that the neck or is it the bottom or? It's the it's the base of the pot. Right. I think that's what um, it looks okay. like, that isn't way. it? That way. Um. <laughs> Hard to tell. So I, think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think it's based down. Uh, it's, it's been a bit, a bit, a bit, been a bit squished. I think. Ross, done. Yep. Yeah. Neck bag. Ross, got it. What layer are we on now? Four, four. Told you four, didn't I? <laughs> it's another one of them thingy ones, there. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. They'll do it much more professionally. <laughs> well, I think that's what's wrong. Yeah. It'll be. They do it in a um, very dilute detergent, and it breaks the uh, clay bonds and lifts oh, okay. the stuff off. Fill it all in ultrasonic, did you? Under laboratory yeah. conditions. Because water's got it. <laughs> they use distilled water in a, in a, in a, in a um, very, very mild yeah. detergent yeah. solution. Yeah, I'll pick the few out of this target ones. here. Target there. Yeah, yeah. The gussages, we had a little <coughs> pot like that that was actually yeah, chocolate with four so. se yeah. sections of silver. And they, they put those all in and it just lifted up. So it's still water with a little bit of... Very, very, they, they use kind of measured conservation, so it's all, it's all very, you know, controlled. Yeah. Mm. And that, that worked to treat with those ones. Okay. That was worse than this because the guy just, he found a pot, he thought it was a metal pot, and it was so heavy. Okay, and he, um, so he um, took it back to his house. I was just taking the mud out of the pot and spotted these big silver coins, and then he stopped. Mm. I don't know many people that wouldn't scoop the rest of the mud out and shaking yeah. that out on the pictures yeah. of it. He stopped there and he handed it over as yeah, it was. Had a good lot. And there were a few million. What's that? Key. What the hell is that? Yeah. No, that's about just about a bit. I think it's just a bit of corrosion stuff to one of them. Uh, but he didn't know how many he had. You get some. You get some fun corrosion products. Where, where they're up against the side of the pot would, sometimes. warn you that it was an estimate because there's a few that are two stuck together. That one's stuck to the pot, see? I've got a hammer. <laughs> Number five. Are you into layer five? Um, I think we will be very shortly. Okay. How do you determine which is the layer? Um, just approximate. Roughly under a coin a layer, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I think, when I think I've taken out a, 
and uh, when I think I've taken out a layer's worth. I would have 100 bags, right? And I'd have layer one, one coin. <laughs> <laughs> layer two, one coin. That would oh. be a pile, wouldn't it? It would. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere here. So we've got all the ones out Thank you. Area, no. You know, I never thought we were going to get the end of these. Because we're getting in Mike's way at the moment. Living everywhere. Just let him get on with his big. Okay. Are you going to need another one, or do you think? Um, okay. I might, I might have. I might have one more just for the for the very bottom most lot, but uh, I don't think we're quite there yet. They are getting a bit tight in there. There's still 60 something left in there. I reckon. Yeah, probably not far. Does anybody count? 60, 70, yeah. you reckon, left? Yeah, count at the end. I've still got some strays. <laughs> can't be far off, couple hundred. Some of them are coming out in lumps. There's easy, a couple hundred, yeah. Could, could be over, could easy. be, could be under yeah, left yeah. in there. Yeah. What, in yeah. total? left of 100 left in there, still? Maybe. How Roughly. Oh, we've got three, four. four. I reckon. I reckon you might not be far off thousand. Thousand coins? Could be, all in. You never know. Yeah. I wouldn't like to, <laughs> wouldn't like to. Is that the biggest hoard tonight? The biggest hoard today? Yeah. Not tonight. Well, I've been thinking about it, and I think it's your way around. I think it will be a deal. Yeah, I'll start this way. One way of cleaning. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Where? Go. I thought got it was a gold one from here. Yeah, no, they've, they've got silt staining on them down here. Go, go, just come out. Where the um, where the brown water coming out of the pot, it, it it sort of pauses as it soaks through the pottery. Then you get a lot, a lot more sort of silt covering on these ones at the base. Mm. Um, bag number five. Number five. Is it five or six now? Oh, six. Oh, six. Don't, don't, don't think it matters now, is it? <laughs> Still more coins on this, are you? Oh, a big clump in it. Oh my god, there's about 20 coins there. <laughs> Lifetime's worth of denarii there. How much would that be worth back then? Uh, difficult to say. Well, for a prostitute, it's like 400 denarii on. <laughs> What's that? Um, a prostitute is 400. Yeah. Yeah, 400 denarii. It's all denarii. She wants to buy it. It's from Red Hair. <laughs> they said 400 denarii. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I know what it was. <laughs> Problem is, you've got trying to sort out comparative values. <clears throat> you've got you're comparing an inflationary system then with yeah. an inflationary system now. Well, what, so would got, the, what would someone get paid for? A soldier used to get paid. What does eight denarii get to one First century leisure, he got two denarii a day. Oh, right. This is like a lifetime's work. Of the, yeah. Worth of coins. Well, as, well, as well as those two two sided inflationary systems, you've, you've also got labour and commodity values being completely different to what they are now. Yeah, you, you think. What, what you can get an agricultural labour labourer for in the 18th century, compared to what people what people need to get paid now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Relatively really, really speaking, people earn a lot more now than they than they used to. So it's all yeah. You know, it's looking. They're still looking. It's almost impossible to come up with a direct comparison. <laughs> <laughs> now you're smiling, look. That's the first time I've seen you smile. Right, not many more left in here. Right, there's the base of the pot. Go on, just let them trickle through your fingers. Where's the last time we'll ever see it? Still more in there. Mm, maybe many more. 
There you go. Oh, there's five, five yeah. There's a load on the outside, isn't there? There's one. Oh, one there it is. Found all the gold jewelry underneath. There it is. There it is. Let's see the other part of the leaf. I'll say approximately because it's legs stuck together. 88. Which bag number is that? That's bag number is that? That's all we've got at the moment. Oh no, we're doing six. There you go. Oh, there's another one. There's two there. Two. Oh, come out, you little. If I do an approximate count for each bag, is that going to be all right? Yeah, yeah. Because we can't be. There's more than two there. <laughs> yeah, just a sort of rough and idea. And they are properly stuck. It's not just the soil. Four. They're actually because they've been. I think that's there. Or these. Four on these. <laughs> Let's get in there. What do you reckon? That's the base of your pot, look. So it is slightly it, tipped over this way. It would have never survived lifting it, look. I mean, you think that that jar is probably going to come up to there originally, maybe yeah. rim up around here somewhere. So you've you've probably got maybe maybe a half of it, slightly less than half of it surviving. That means there's a shit. A lot more, more in this field, field, then. Yeah. Yeah. Because a black pottery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What I might have to do is get a bit of a clean up on this and get a photo of it. Yeah, oh, is it? Is that real one? That's the exciting bit over anyway. How many others have been pulled out? Loads. Yeah. How many others have been declared? Yeah. Probably loads. Yeah. And, and still with silver yeah. statues. Yeah. That will corrode first. Yeah. 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 Brush Once they're all out, can you go away so we can detect a bit more? Yeah. Keep on. Find the next one. Yeah. <laughs> These semi could take a couple. What was that like? Hello oh, there. Like. Um. Could be. Could be all been silver. Every one of them. Yeah. Every one silver. I think. I think pull the rock out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone's just made a live comment on YouTube saying, "Why don't you use a pinpoint to show you where they are?" Because we can see them. <laughs> That's a good. There's your answer. Because I can see them. Way, yeah. And if you have been watching, we've been using the pinpointer all day. You have, yes, on the first stages. And um, Lynn just said, <laughs> Lynn just made a comment saying, "Worth the wait." Well done, guys. We got our own little patch. We kick everyone out in a minute. We'll just do this little round. Joke. <laughs> <coughs> well, Give Mike a shovel. Yeah, dig it out. He done it. Look at that. You can see your phone one. Hello, James Johnson. No, I didn't discover the hoard. That chap there did. Happy looking one. Yeah, that. Yeah, we'll biggest smile. It will be. <laughs> it's not because it's a bit of sweet. You can tell he uh, he started about so like three weeks ago. Wasn't it? I'm, so, yeah. I'm quite lucky. <laughs> if there was one bit of gold in there, I was gonna have to streak naked. So yeah, we don't see. That so we hit that gold. Yeah, I'm alright. He had to borrow a detector. That. <laughs> Yes, he's borrowed my phone. They've not found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, the ferret. I hate to say uh, the machine he was using was a uh, CTX Mine Lab. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and the owner of that CTX was using a Deus. <laughs> and the owner of the CTX was using the Deus. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one? Yeah. 
course it is. There's another one there. Yeah. Is that another denarius? Yeah. Well done. That was a bit loud big on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're a nice one. You know that. Well done. I just detected that bit as well. <laughs> You're not very good then, are you? Have you got a CTX? <laughs> right. The shadow's gone, won't <laughs> Is that them all out? Oh, a little bit no, of pots. There's, 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 yeah. a, there's a few trapped under the underneath the where the pot's broken up. Yeah. Is it on its side the metal? I think it's been put in. It's been put in upright, but it's just slumped over, over yeah. the inside. Yeah. Hey, she's trying to see intact underneath. Look at those still there. Look. Mike. Bye right, bye. Yeah, still going. <laughs> Thousand. Yeah, there's only a couple left now. No, no go. Oh fuck knows, mate. I ain't, I ain't good on this, and all. Sorry, language is uh, live. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a few pictures. I'll, I'll send them out. Thank you, boys, for raffle tickets. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's used to always lock up. <laughs> Sorry, mate. No, no. They're not. We've uh, 70. 7 0. 70 points. Sure, it's to They average one bag at about 88. No one has 70, though. Yeah, she's counting 70, was there? It's got to be a good 4 or 5 hundred. He estimates there could be up to 1,000 when you get the. Scatters up as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be more than. I think it'd be more than five hundred. There's eighty-one thumbs up watching uh, this video. Eighty-one people live watching at the moment. If you really like this video of a horde being revealed live on YouTube, please click that thumbs up button. Thank you very much. You're doing it already. That's really fantastic. This is such a rare event. 91? 99. And there's 70 in there. Thank you. Well, that's the extent of the trench so far. Um, can you just tell us what the next stage that right, everybody should expect you to be doing next? Will do. Yes, what might. We will take the remaining yeah, right next to the pot. vessel out. I'll show you the empty pot now. Like. Try, to, try to see if we can find the oh, yeah. it was placed All in. Right, I'll give you a ring in a minute. Send them through. Finish the recording and then try and, try and extract any remaining coins from the, from the trench. Right, but well, the trench has signalled all over the place, isn't it? So depending which method you use, you could be here for a very long time. Well, we'll see how many there are. There's a lot of signals up here, though, isn't there? Under your feet now. You're going to get them last three or four out here,
98. No, that's a lot more than that, Christy. It's uh, in each bag, it's roughly. A, it's a few hundred. I've got 81, 88, 98. Seven, 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 one one seven, 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 I'll be amazed yeah, if you go before the spoil. Yeah, yeah I, I, when I had my hoard out, we found um, 17 in the spoil. Ben thing. found three in this little patch. Did he? Yeah. Wow. In the spoil, there's, yeah, here there, there will be more in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for sharing. No, 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 no mate. It's uh, thanks for watching. I'm only sharing. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. I've got 92 people watching at the moment. Sadly, there are only 34 thumbs up. You'd think they'd all be enjoying it and put a thumbs up, wouldn't you? But um, maybe they'll think about that and just click that button. But, you know, I've come here six hours drive to, to do a dig and I've ended up just filming all day. And that's brilliant. I'll be digging all day. Yep. It's been brilliant. Oh, we're shot up to 41, 30, 43 thumbs up now. That's good. Keep giving thumbs up if you really appreciate what you're watching on screen. It's happening live. You don't see this every day. In fact, I'm not sure it's actually a live stream of a hoard being recovered on YouTube. There may not be one. I don't know. If I'm wrong, just let me know. quieter now than it was a few hours ago when virtually 127 detectorists on this field all crowded one round little one around one little hole and uh, now the excitement has died down the serious work has been going on for a couple of hours or more I know what it feels like because when I found my hoard I was only 10 weeks into the hobby but mine wasn't a uh, a mass like this. Mine was scattered all over the place. It took me six weeks to get 110 coins out. They're doing this virtually every hour, 100 coins an hour. Uh, yeah, it looks to be uh, yeah. 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 John on YouTube says everybody involved, well done, awesome find. Someone's just uh, paid is it 35 or 55 dollars just to get a mention on this video with you guys. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just give a thumbs up and say thank you to the guy. Yes. Hey, these guys hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, Callum, how many's been found up to yet? I can't answer that exactly at the moment, but it's roughly six or seven bags with eighty roughly in each bag but they're doing the uh, the counting now and looking at some coins over there do you want me to go over and look at those coins as they've got them out should i take you over or do you want to carry on watching them being retrieved oh 53 thumbs up what does that mean go look at some coins well there's a dirty one's being counted yeah but strange like kirsty who is the local yeah. flow finds the aid on officer for those who are abroad and don't know and just look at these beauties of a just zoom in on the <laughs> some of those well all the fun and the excitement is finally over they'll just be looking for straggler coins maybe tonight or tomorrow or something like that this field is officially closed off to detecting now and tomorrow on different fields but my guess is that the um, the officers of the group will probably allow the original finders 
and the supervisors to come in and continue their search. Well David, as you well know, I've been walking around all day. I came here six hours from Yorkshire to dig and uh -huh. I haven't put a spade in the ground hardly. <laughs> uh, it's all your fault. I feel it is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but I tell you, you've given so much enjoyment to thousands of people now on YouTube, live streaming around the world. Do you know, it's my pleasure. And do you know, it's the first time I've ever, ever streamed anything like that. So thank you very much indeed. Um, how do you feel about it? Oh, ecstatic, I have to say. It's not really sunk in, to be honest. I've been here, what, six hours now since we found the first coin. And, um, yeah, my heart is still thumping. Now, you told me you're a primary school teacher. Yeah, I'm a head teacher of a primary school. Right. So they're going to be very excited they, on Monday they, morning. Yeah. So you're going to look through the video, take some clippings out and show them what happened on the day? Absolutely, yes. And now I guess Roman history is going to be on the agenda. <laughs> it certainly is, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, well I will also want to be one of the first ones to shake your hand and say look, thank you very much. Oh. And thank you for not objecting for me uh, getting the camera out. Pleasure. And bringing so much enjoyment to so many people around the world. And uh, I'd like to thank you for that. Cheers. Okay, cheers very much. Thank you. Where are you? Here we go. Well, lovely. Has anybody got a Serratus? No, it's not here. It's over there somewhere. What, a Serratus? No, there's one in here. Is there? Yeah, there's a Serratus. that one. <laughs> lovely job. They are superb coins. Just close up. Look at those guys. <laughs> you may never see anything like this on YouTube ever again. That lady there. That's a lady. Now you keep your hands still. Yeah, super. Let's have a look at the handful. See what they look like. Uh, isn't that a beautiful sight? Treasure that on YouTube, you detectorists. You'll never see anything like it again. Bit of iron. There's a really, really rare us, collection anyway. of denarii there. Early ones. Very early, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. How are we going, Kirsty? How are we going? Uh, oh. Going up. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Look, everybody wanting pictures of them too. This has been a really fabulous day. It's not over yet. I'm going to keep streaming, so don't go anywhere. But um, everybody's still searching the field. The field's going to be closed off at 4 o'clock, which is another 14 minutes, just for detecting. Uh, no detecting after 4 o'clock. Spectators can come and have a look, because some people will really want to see this if they haven't already, especially the number of coins that have come out, if they haven't been over here for a while to look at it. Many people won't even see a site like this. This is so rare to see. The rarity of the coins, we won't really know until the British Museum's had a full look at them. So if I can bring you a follow-up on that, that'll be great. But we know they're unusual, and we know this is a very rare opportunity. And as I've said many times, streaming live to YouTube is even rarer. So I thank you for joining me. 90-odd people watching at the moment, 50-odd thumbs up. Thanks for that. If you do appreciate being involved in this sort of thing, that's great. Just press that thumbs up button. It won't kill you. It won't charge you. Just press that thumbs up so you can see just how popular the video is going to be. Share it as well on the Facebook groups, as I've said. So the um, people overseas, especially on a different time zone, haven't checked in yet, can also be witnessing to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I actually have a really strong signal on that right guys that's three times i've streamed today i only really meant to stream once and that's to bring you what it's like to attend uh, a weekend rally with the southern detectorists a little bit of a promotional video for them and a bit of interest for you something live to enjoy uh, but it's turned out to be a lot more than that